Hi there, I'm Vincent Boss and I provide dating and self-improvement advice. And in today's podcast, we're going to be discussing Dumper Power Grab from Dumpy. I provide audio coaching for breakup recovery, trying to get an ex back, attracting someone new and life coaching. Visit www.dateme.tips for more details. Please check your spam and junk folders if you are expecting an email from me. So now let's get back into today's podcast. And today we are discussing Dumper Power Grab from Dumpy. So if you have been dumped and want to try to get your ex back, you may feel powerless. It's important to align the power scales and not allow your ex to be in the more valuable position. In today's podcast, I'll be discussing the three power grab moves from the dumper, and this knowledge can help dumpies with potential reconnection. So let's get straight into this, and point number one is when they dumped you. So your ex grabbed the power as soon as they ended your relationship. You know, let's consider your connection whilst you were together. And when you were both in a loving relationship, you were both feeling a level playing field when it came to value and when it came to power. That is why you connected so well. Now, when unfortunately your ex decided that they wanted to end the relationship, this was a huge decision on their part. They would have come to this, of course, because unfortunately they lost romantic emotional attraction for you. Now, when we consider why somebody might lose attraction, we can normally separate it into two main sections. The first section being due to the action of a dumpy. Now, this might be an action such as cheating on their now dumper, or perhaps it was an action of behaving in a way which was just, generally speaking, less physically, mentally, or spiritually attractive. Additionally, the other option as to why somebody might lose attraction is because people are growing in different directions, or potentially the dumpy was not growing at all. The dumper, in this essence, has outgrown their now ex. So when we consider why somebody ends a relationship, they've lost romantic emotional attraction, and it is connected to either an action or growth. The action, like I've just said, could be something like cheating, could be some type of behavioural situation, and growth is either separately in different directions, or the dumpy hasn't grown, and the dumper has. Then, romantic emotional attraction is either slowly lost over time, or lost suddenly. In essence, that would generally be connected to an action. Now, when this instance takes place, when the level of romantic emotional attraction has hit the necessary low point, your now ex the dumper decided to action the breakup. And when they did, they made a choice. Their decision was to end the relationship. And if you're listening to this as a dumpy, you didn't want this to happen. You did not want the relationship to end. You, as a dumpy, wanted the relationship to continue. So what we can see here is one person wanted the relationship to continue, one person wanted the relationship to end. And unfortunately for you, the dumpy, the relationship ended. And therefore, the person who made that choice has the power. The person who made that decision is the powerful one at this moment in time regarding your connection because they got what they wanted and you didn't get what you wanted. You wanted things to continue. They wanted things to end. So when we consider the dumper power grab, the first power grab is at the time of a breakup. You know, you're now ex the dumper, end of a relationship. They grab the power by making a decision which they wanted. It didn't matter what you wanted. It didn't matter your reasoning, your begging, your pleading. None of that made any difference. And that is why they grabbed the power. And at this moment in time, they became the more powerful and more valuable individual in regards to your two's connection. Now, this doesn't mean you're not a valuable person. You know, every single person on this planet is valuable. Every single person on this planet is important. So when I'm talking about power, when I'm talking about value, please don't think that I'm speaking about you as an individual. You know, every single person is valuable, is special, is unique, and is important. But I'm talking about within the realms of your connection, within the realms of your dynamic of your relationship. 
And at this time, your now ex-Badumper has the power. They grab that power and they end the relationship because they made a decision which they wanted and they got it. You wanted a decision to go your way and it didn't happen. Therefore, they are more powerful. And unfortunately, you have less of a power. The scales are no longer aligned. So now let's get into point number two and the second point of today's podcast about Dumper Power Grab from Dumpy. And point number two is if you chase them. So as I've just said, the first moment of a power grab taking place is at the time of the breakup. But now we're looking beyond that. And we're looking to the fact of if you chase them. If you, as a Dumpy, chase your ex the Dumper, physically or metaphorically. So if you chase your ex, you're literally handing them the power as you push them on the pedestal. Chasing your ex, whether it is literally physically because you see them in the street and you chase after them. Or metaphorically, by texting, calling, and doing all of the things that in my other podcast you would have heard me suggest you shouldn't be doing as a dumpy. If you behave in a needy way, you are handing your ex the power. So they've grabbed the power at the time of a breakup, and now you're handing them additional power. And this power grab is one that you have a lot of option over. You have the decision-making ability, but instead of making it difficult for them to become even more powerful, you're making it very, very easy. You're handing them extra power. The scales are becoming less and less aligned. And for you two to get back together into a loving relationship, you need the scales of value, the scales of power to be as level as possible. We need the scales to be looking in a way where neither person has the clear control over the situation. So if you chase your ex, if your dumper feels that you really desire them no matter what they say to you, no matter what they do to you, no matter how they behave, no matter what they have put you through, you still think that you need them. You still believe. You tell them, I can't live my life in the best way without you. I need you. I don't feel like I can carry on without you in my life. All of those things are going to be pushing your ex onto the pedestal. And if you as a dumpy have begged, pleaded, reasoned with your ex after the dust has settled from a breakup, you are handing them more power. You're pushing them on that pedestal and they are believing to themselves that they are all high, almighty, and in a sense, better than you in regards of a relationship. They feel that they could have you if they wanted you. You know, if you are begging and pleading, your ex dumper is going to be thinking, well, I'm going to go on my own path, but I've always got a backup because they're there. So there's no worry. I don't have to worry that my ex dumpy finds somebody else because they're going to be here waiting for me because clearly they're begging, they're pleading, they're desperate, they need me. I'm more powerful and they are not. Now, even if your ex dumper isn't thinking of this in a logical, conscious sense, they're certainly thinking it in a subconscious sense because you are inadvertently pushing them higher up that mountain. You know, you're at the bottom of the mountain looking up at them, standing at the top, and just in case they start to come down a little bit, you're pushing them back up. Please, 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 I don't deserve you. I need you. Please come back into my life. That is handing them the power. And that is actually reducing the chance of your ex dumper ever regrowing romantic emotional attraction for you. Now, if you're going through a breakup, if you want support through breakup recovery, if you want to increase the chance of getting your ex back, then you may want to consider my audio coaching service, where me and you can speak one-on-one about your specific, unique situation. Go to my website, www.dateme.tips, for more information about how I can become your coach and your teammate via my audio coaching service. So now let's get into point number three and the final point of today's podcast about dump a power grab from Dumpy. And point number three is if you don't grow. So if you don't grow as a person, then your ex is maintaining the power and value from your connection because they will realise that they made the right decision. Now, when I say that they will realise that they made the right decision, it's because if and when they reflect on your relationship, they'll be thinking of you right now and comparing you to the person that they dumped. And if they don't see any growth, if they don't see any improvement, if they don't see any changes within you, then your chances of reconnecting are very, very slim. And the reason for this is you must understand they have dumped you. The person they ended the relationship with, unfortunately for you, the dumpy, they did not feel was a good connection. They did not feel was a good fit. Now, it doesn't mean that you weren't a good fit in the past. It doesn't mean that you weren't a great team 
back in the day. But right now, they're looking back to the breakup and thinking, right, you know, I ended the relationship. I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling fulfilled. I wasn't feeling satisfied. I wasn't happy. And now I'm looking back on this situation and I still feel that they are the same person that I've dumped. So why should I reconsider my decision? What on earth could I be thinking to want to go back to somebody that I dumped who hasn't changed? And this is why it's so important as a dumpee that you grow. You must make sure that you are not allowing them to maintain their power. You know, they've grabbed the power. You've handed them further power. Now they've reflected. You've basically just maintained their stance and the power scale stay the same. Now, you might be wondering why and when would my expert dumper ever start to even look in the mirror and reflect on the situation? Well, let me tell you. Every dumper will have a moment when they look back. It might not be within a few days. It might not be within a few weeks. In fact, in most instances, it's many months later. I would say it's more likely to be between six and 12 months than one and six. So if you're wondering if and when your ex will ever reflect on your breakup, just rest assured that they will. They have to. They're a human being. And if and when their life gets to a more stagnant situation, if and when their life becomes something that they didn't really think it would be as a single person, this is when they are very likely to look back on their situations from the past, including you as a relationship, and really wonder if they've made the right choice. Okay, so even if you're thinking, well, I've heard my expert dumper is dating somebody new, they're very happy, they're never going to reflect. That is not true. Now, if they are with somebody new, please don't panic. The likelihood of somebody finding a new connection which lasts forever more is very, very slim within the first year at least. From my research, it's very, very hard to find a long-term compatible partner. It's very hard to find a brand new relationship which can last the test of time. So if you and your ex split up and within the first few months, even up to a year or so, they meet somebody new, I think it's very unlikely that they're going to be with them forever. Now, putting that to one side a moment and just considering the situation, you find that your ex dumper is in a new relationship. You are worried that they might be with this new person forever. And whether or not, you know, you listen to to my beliefs, they probably won't. And you're just thinking, look, they're very happy. They're not going to reflect. Let me tell you, even if they're with somebody new, they're going to be having times which aren't electric. They're going to be having times which aren't all exciting. They're going to be having times which aren't amazingly brilliant every single day because real life is not like that. And therefore, even if your ex dumper is dating somebody new, even if they stay together for a number of months or even beyond, they're going to have a moment where they think back. They're going to have a moment where they look back. They're going to have a moment where things just aren't quite as shiny and exciting as maybe they were in the past, and they can have that moment to reflect and think of you, the dumpy, especially if a trigger takes place. So this is probably a good time to mention triggers and to mention the power of triggers and to mention why I believe that you as a dumpy should be doing everything you can to be in the best possible position because if and when a trigger takes place, place, they're going to be thinking of you and more likely to try and discover what's going on with you. So triggers, let's speak about them very quickly. There are many. I'll just mention a few for now. I've done podcasts on triggers in depth in the past and I will again in the future. But right now, let's just mention a few triggers. The classic one is the song which makes somebody think of their ex. This is obviously based upon music, based upon a sound, any type of sound, also any type of sight which makes somebody think of a memory could be constituted as a trigger. Like I said, the classic example is a song. They hear a song on the radio which makes them think of you. Maybe it was your song, maybe it was just a song which really was being played a lot during a certain time when you two were together. Maybe you were on vacation or on holiday, whatever it may be. If they hear this song, they're going to be thinking about you. And this could just be the trigger which makes them want to do a little bit of work on you, a little bit of discovery, a little bit trying to find out what you're doing in your life. Maybe they check social media, maybe they ask friends of friends. But this is when they can really start to find out if you've grown or not. Look, your ex dumper is very likely to be able to find out information on you. Even if you think, they can't, I block them on social media, we've got no friends of friends. You would be really surprised how dumpers seem to have an uncanny ability to somehow find out information about you. So you need to be making sure that you're putting in the work. You need to be making sure that when your ex dumper searches for what you're up to right now, that they can be surprised and see that you have grown. 
One of the things that Dumpy is very unlikely to realise is that your ex, the Dumper, believes they know everything about you. They think they know you inside and out. You need to surprise them. Now, I'm not talking about something crazy, something shocking, but you need to surprise them in a nice way, in a positive way, in an intriguing way, by improving yourself every single day. You need to be growing as a person, because if you don't grow, like I've just said, point number three is where you're just handing them more power, you're just stabilising their mindset and their position by maintaining the scales of power about how they were. If you haven't grown, if they've researched you, looked up, what you're doing right now, they think you haven't changed at all. They are not going to decide that they want to reconnect with you. Now, you shouldn't be doing this just for them. You need to be growing for you. You need to be increasing the chance of finding somebody even better than your ex. But if you want to reconnect with your ex, you need to make sure the scales of value are more even than they are right now. And certainly not maintaining the unfair balance that they currently show. You need to grow because if you don't, then they will maintain the power. They will maintain the balance, which is so much in their favour. And you will reduce the chance of reconnecting with your ex. Always remember, grow for you, not for your ex. But the byproduct of this is that you could get them back. If you believe that this podcast has helped you, then please consider buying me a coffee. The link to do so is in the description.